All right, we're back and we're playing some twins. So for the few people who are actually watching this video, I'd like to give you a uh, a gameplay of me running her three main perks, or I guess their main th three main perks um, for the uh, trophy that I was going for here. And the purpose of the educational commentaries um, is to review my gameplay to see where I went right, where I went wrong, and then you, the viewer, can also be along for the ride to learn something as well. Um, so, obviously here, three main perks, Coupe de Gras, Oppression, Hoarder, um, the add-ons are for the uh, pounce speed charging, like little charge speed, um, and movement speed for Victor. Um, I played Twins for like about a few matches before this, so I'm not really that great at, at Twins at all. Um, but I, I figure that every match is a way to learn, so. We're gonna take a look around with Victor. I, it was a little bit uh, difficult to find them, but we do get the miss there with Victor's pounce. We are greeting the gen, so we do get the free hit there. Um, but unfortunately, the gen was 99, so. As you could probably imagine, we're, we're getting uh, gen out within one minute of the game starting. So, it is what it is. It is what it is. I did. I was AFK for like maybe 30 seconds or less um, at the start of the game. Um, I think at the time I had to attend to something outside of the game. So, you know, it is what it is. So we're trying to cut off the angle there. We noticed where they're going. So we're trying to take a look around and see if we could find um, where the survivors are. But we're going to loop back around check the gen because they are um, extremely greedy so we're gonna switch back to Charlotte kind of throws them off so we're gonna get the free hit there um, we see he's running to that back corner as well that's probably where his teammates are um, but we're gonna try to cut him off cut off the angle there we're just kind of taking a look around we noticed that somebody's getting picked up by the by Victor there so we're gonna go after this one now ideally we can either get a knockdown or get a pallet out the way and unfortunately they just pre-drop like an absolute moron so I can just get the pallet out the way and then once again they, they have nowhere to go now because um, they just created a dead zone in the corner of the map and so now we get ourselves a free knockdown. Now in, the, in that process we're most likely going to lose another gen because they, you know, spoiler alert, you know what I'm saying, they've been uh, just pumping the gens the entire time while I was doing that. We do have oppression um, so it, it offers maybe a small amount of regression it really doesn't um, offer that much you know in terms like you need to pair oppression with like with other gen related perks and as you can see this other gen is already like 99 or something like that I don't know how the hit didn't go through but we're gonna see if we can try to try again to get another hit as I as I see it, you know the you know the more you use your abilities, the better you're gonna get with them, and that's just infield you know knowledge. Um, so we're gonna go after the person who's been unhooked. Um, unfortunately, because we are running the three main perks, we're just gonna have to do what we need to do. Coupe de Grog comes into play there because I was able to get a really good like good amount of lunge, even though it was at level one. They missed the blind there, of course, because this is the survivors we're talking about. They don't have any skill, so. We can get the free hook there, and we get a free free hit there. I don't know why they're wasting their batteries shining it at nothing, but hey, this is you gotta remember this is survivors for you. Porter gets some value there, so we can see that. Um, also pretty useless on twins, but it is what it is, right? So we're gonna try to go for the long range hit. I don't know how that missed, um, but it is what it is. You know, we you gotta at least give it you know gotta give it a chance when you when you can. So we're just going to take a look around here toward the back. We notice that Michaela's hiding behind the rubble there. Like if we did have a coop stack, we definitely used it there. So we're taking a, a look around now. We're going to go back toward the sensor here because, you know, we need to protect our hook. Um, we do see some scratch marks, so we know something like that Michaela's is kind of hiding back there, but we're not worried about Michaela right now. We're trying to make sure we get somebody out of the game as soon as possible. Um, we don't want to stray too far away. Unfortunately, they slip past, and then they can get the unhook. But that's fine. We get the hit, and everybody's injured. Um, if I was better with twins, I probably would have been able to slug everybody, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm not too good with twins. <clears throat> And I'm also going against gen rushers, so don't have a lot of time to learn. So, 
Well, we get to pick up here immediately, tunnel to unhook or tunnel the unhook or whatever have you, whatever survivor remains like to call it. Um, and then we can go ahead and hook them, get them out the game as soon as possible because we need to get them out now. Um, in that time, we're most likely going to lose another generator because, as I've said in this gameplay, they're absolutely gen rushing the living shit out of the twins. But the purpose of this video, for the few that are watching it, um, is so that you can, you know, understand that, you know, even if you lose a lot of gens, the chips aren't always completely down, like, you still have a chance to win. And I, and I say that it's sort of, uh, to learn from that experience and understand that there's always a chance. Um, you just have to be able to read the situations and understand. I don't understand why Victor, like, bounced off the pallet into the wall and fell down. And then the cocky survivor wants wants to crouch on him. I'm like, but uh, you and I both know, you the viewer and I both know that was completely bullshit. Like that he should have went over the pallet because Victor can do that. I don't know how he bounced off the wall and went in, down to the ground. I, I don't know what's wrong with with Victor's physics. But it is what it is. We got about two pallets out of the way. And uh, we try to see if we can use Victor again. Um, to get the long range swing there, or pounce I should say. Um, we try to give it a chance because I figured, I mean, I'm most likely already lost the game, so I just want to like use Victor to get a little bit more experience with him so that we can go on to the next match. <coughs> but because this video is being posted, you know that this is uh, going to turn around for me, so and this is how you can learn. I was able to get the prediction there. Which I figure maybe Victor's a little bit like uh, like using a range killer, like where you like hat like Huntress or something. Um, there I pounce, but I try to push myself off the ledge there so that I don't uh, get kicked there. Um, we're gonna place Victor at the top of the building there, so we get like full like a good amount of uh, killer instinct value, and we're gonna go ahead and kick that guy again. Um, I would have went for the hook, but I realized that if they decide to, I need to just get that gen picked as soon as possible, because if they decide to um, take advantage of me picking up somebody, they're more than likely going to finish that gen. So I was like, I have to leave them on the ground and force them to go for the pickup instead. Um, this is decision making you have to make in situations like this, where the chips are down, you're against the ropes, and you're going to have to try to find some way somehow to force survivors off the gens. So slugging is definitely going to be one of those things. Um, especially when they get really cocky because they like they want to get that four-man escape. Um, in this case, the three-man escape. Um, we're staying in proxy to this generator because it does have the most progress. And uh, survivors usually will only want to go for that gen with the most progress. They'll never start a new one. Um, in most cases, if they're smart, they will. But in most cases, they're greedy and they want to just finish that one gen that had the most progress. Um, so it is what it is. And then we do get stunned there, unfortunately, but we do get the pallet out the way, so we just need to be break it. Okay, so we're trying to stay in proxy to this generator. We want to have we want to have some uh, Charlotte there on the generator, so that they, they, if they do tr decide to go um, after the generator, we can try to cut them off. We do try to get at least one of them, but unfortunately, they both just swerved out of the way. Um, just Victor things, I guess. Um, so we try to go back. And check again, just to kind of see if anybody's around. We go back on Victor. Um, we take a look around in case anybody want to go wants to go for the kick there, but we do not. Um, we haven't checked the other two gens, so we're gonna go ahead and do that with Victor. We are green the gen, but I for some reason hit the wall instead. Um, but we do uh, get the hit there. Now, little tip though uh, that I will offer is that the space between Victor's fingers is usually where you should be aiming your pounce. Um, it's the most accurate, and obviously Victor has a lot of range um, with his pounds as well. So we're just taking a look around. We're going to drop down with Charlotte now so we can just kind of uh, go for the pickup there. I figure because that gen has been regressing for so long, and we do get, the, we do get a bit of some, uh, some reading with Victor, so we get the hit there, keep them injured and occupied, and then we're going to try to go back to where Michaela is. We want to keep... So that means that we have one survivor on the ground, one is worrying about Victor, so that leaves like uh, Adam to do whatever he wants to do. Um, Michaela's away from the pallet for some reason, so we're just going to go ahead and get the pick up there. The smarter decision she could have done was stayed under the pallet so that if Adam was around or like waiting to get the pick up, he could have probably got the stun. 
but he did not, so oh well, bad play for them. So we're going to go ahead and go back to that main uh, generator again because it did have a lot of progress. Um, so we're going to go ahead and kick it with oppression. Um, active. Then we're going to do the same play we're doing before to try to defend our generator because it seems like, as I've said before, they will only go for that gen that has the most progress. We're going to try to go for Adam again. For some reason it doesn't hit. Um, the Adam starts celebrating when we all know that he's just getting extremely lucky. But you gotta remember that survivors get cocky off of things that, you know, really are just either luck based or just mechanics or just behavior giving them freebies. It is what it is. So you do get the long range snipe on, uh, well, I couldn't say it's a snipe, but we do get the long range pounce on that guy, Renato, again. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look around here. I'm gonna go and notice that they do get the unhook and heal there. We see the other one is just kind of lingering over there, so we could try to get another hit here. Um, my, I will say that I should have probably been a bit more patient with Victor, um, but I didn't want to give the survivors a chance, but it's also a part of learning. I do figure Victor's a little bit like using a range killer in that sense. Um, I probably should kick that pallet. We do see Michaela hiding behind barrels again. I, I don't entirely know what the hell she's doing half the time. She tends to panic, so we just take advantage of that. So we have one injured and one with Victor. So now we see that everybody's in that killer shack. So that means that somebody's going to go for this. We're going to go to the middle, the window there. Now Coupe de Gras comes into play there because he wants to try to hide in a corner like a moron. We get Coupe de Gras value. Um, we go and try to body block the pallet here to try to see if we can down anybody else. Um, because you know that all of them are standing by. And I'm trying to kind of bait them to go for the pallet save. Um, which Michaela just lost, stands there, gets downed, so we got two down. And then the Adam is, uh, we're trying to find him, but we can't, uh, seem to find him here. But we take a look around, we do have the, the pallet there, so they can't really go for the stun. Um, if it did stun, it, it would have sent me back to Charlotte, which would have been a good play. So, of course, this clown is hiding in the bushes, just waiting for his opportunity. He gets lucky, of course, but it is what it is. Um, and then this Renato gets cocky, wastes the pallet. The smarter play would have been to leave the fucking uh, pallet there. But you gotta remember that survivors are not very intelligent and they don't know anything about strategies, so... With that in mind, he's just gonna, he's just wasting his resources left and right. Um, he should have left the pallet because it was a powerful pallet. We do get the knockdown on Adam here. But... The reason I was body blocking the pallet was also so they could not get to save that easily and I would figure that if they were smart they would realize um, that that pallet had some value to it but they immediately wasted it cocky. You have to remember that this only works in your favor every single time they want to waste pallets so be it you're going to take advantage of that and you're going to use that. So we get the pick up on Michaela here, Renato spent time healing himself for some reason. The hook's literally right next to the shack, and then the other one is under that pallet, so... Um, we do have Victor there, just to keep an eye on them. Um, Michaela's on the second state. We see scratch marks on the main building, so we're gonna have to try to... Um, try to cut them off go um, off the path there. We try to at least check the gen and see if it has any progress. Um, it seems like it's regressed. Um, they do get to pick up on Adam there. We do try to get the long range hit there, but I guess within the time it took for him to travel, they just somehow moved to the side. Um, we do try to get the hit there again. But uh, we're just going to have to make our way toward the the hook here. So we do need to stay next to Michaela here so we can confirm them out of the game. Because in, in order for us to get the Merciless, we need to actually get the 4k. So we're just staying in proximity, we're trying to just see what they're going to do. It doesn't seem like they're prioritizing gens anymore. Um, so we're just trying to confirm our kill. This Renato comes out of nowhere, unfortunately. Um, so we just knock him straight to the ground. Um, we go on to Victor here to go knock her down again. Um, so we can try to get two people slugged and then we can just hook Renato. Um, and then we'll have Michaela slugged so that we can just eliminate her out of the game. Uh, once we get over there, and then they're most likely going to go for the save on Renato, and then we know where both of them are, and then that's sort of the plan. 
Um, now you see me here, like when I miss the pounce, I try to move away from them, try to hide behind the wall or something like that to make it harder um, to get the kick. And because they're getting greedy, trying to go for kicks, um, then we can knock down Michaela. So now because Michaela's down, we have Victor standing next to her, so we'll be able to know if anybody else decides to get close, and then we're going to hook <clears throat> Renato on the hook here, and then we can start making our way over um, to the person that got hooked. Um, they, are, they are on the first hook state, so that other Adam has the time to go for the save. We're also going to take a look at the generator. Thankfully, this clown, <laughs> this clown fell from the top. Oh man, so the other one gave up, and now we got ourselves a win. So if you made it this far, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see other killers, um, you can leave a comment um, saying what killer you want to see. If you want to see other uh, non-DVD uh, related content, like horror related things and whatnot, um, you can leave a suggestion in the comments if you um, have any game that you would like to see. Um, I do have like uh, some games in mind. I was thinking Dead Island, uh, like the originals, because um, I had gotten those, and I just wanted to just kind of mess around with those games. I never played Dead Island before. So, yeah. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you want to see, you know, other content, just leave a comment. You know, or you know, if you're a twins main, I'm sorry, I, I just I don't main twins, so <laughs> you may not be seeing any more twins beyond this video. Um, but I do figure this is a really good educational video, so you can see that even when the chips are down, you can still make a comeback in some way, shape, or form. So, have a good one, guys.